All right, I'm going to show you the art of tearing paper. Um, you have to tear paper for this activity. You're not cutting at all. Um, you'll need construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, you can color white paper. So let's say you needed some green. You could color your paper green and then tear that part of the paper um, that you needed. Okay. So I'm going to show you a finished product that I did um, a while back. This was for a duck stamp activity where I learned how to tear paper and I teared it. I tore it to represent a duck. The duck itself is all made out of torn paper. The water in the background is made out of crayons because crayons add a nice texture to construction paper. And so you can see how after I did mine torn paper and I glued it in all the pieces that I needed I also added some color so what you're going to do is you're going to choose to do a bird or a fish some kind of animal would be nice um, so think about what animal you want to do you can do a cat you can do a bird or a fish but you have to make sure that you are looking at that picture before. So I'm going to open up my phone and I'm going to look up a picture that I would like to do. Um, I'm thinking about doing a goldfish. Let's see. So I have, let's see, a really pretty goldfish. I think I'll do this goldfish. So the first thing you have to do when looking at a picture and deciding you're going to tear the picture is you need to have the color that you would like to use and you need to look at the shapes. So this fish right here, I have a circle for it's coming right here, but the bigger shape would be more like this oval shape. So I'm going to lightly draw on my orange paper that shape that I'm seeing. And I'm going to have to tear this shape. And so when you tear, you use pinching fingers and you're going to do small little tears, not big tears. And then I can put my finger right here to stop it from tearing. And I can just go around the shape that I need. I'm going to tear this extra off and I can use that for his fin later. But you want to tear the extra off because if not it's going to get very crinkled and wrinkled and you'll struggle having paper left over. switch over and tear your shape instead of the paper around it. Okay, so now I have the shape of my fish and it's kind of like this. So let me fix my paper. Ah. There we go. So that's about his shape, and I can build up on his fins. Oh my goodness. There we go. I can build up on his fins and the rest, but I'm not going to glue it down yet. I'm going to flip it over because I don't want my pencil lines to show. You don't want your pencil lines to show unless you plan on coloring over them. So he also has this round shape where his belly is and he's got his gills so I'm just going to draw let's see it's about a circle I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to tear that circle I'm 
going to put it right there and I'll glue it later. And I need a little spot for his gill. And that's kind of like a C shape or a half moon shape. So I'm going to cut that and that will be his gills for his eyes I might want to do white and black um, so let me get my white paper okay. so I just need a little circle for his eye And for his fins, I'm going to do his bigger fin first. And it's kind of like a heart shape, to be honest. So I might do this big heart shape. And then make a little tear in it for that top fin. And I might want to tear it right here. So I have where his fin kind of splits. And then he also has a smaller part of his tail like that. So I'm going to go ahead and tear in and then I'll tear the details. Trying to tear into that fin a little bit. Gotta be very careful. Okay, so his fin's kind of like this, and I'm going to have to draw to kind of cover up that. Um, so I'm gonna kind of come in on the tail. What I'm gonna do is when after I glue it down, I'm gonna kind of color some orange and make that tail look right. And so then I need a fin up here. And I'm just going to draw that fin a little bit. And that'll be the top fin. And then I have these little smaller fins down here. Let's see. They kind of kind of have a straight line with a little curve up. Let me see. Kind of like a triangle a little bit. Flatten triangle. And then that can be the bottom fin down here and then I have this other fin that's behind that's sort of just like a rectangle shape a little bit and that one can be right there so so far I think I have everything I need to do the only thing I need is the black but I can just color that in with the crayon instead so now I can glue my pieces I think I'm going to glue these pieces with here first. Okay. And then let me glue the fish on and then I can do his fins. Do 
this bottom fin. And I need to do his back fin. And I'm going to try to get the edges a little bit with the glue so that everything sticks down. Squish that glue in there and then move the top in. And then I have this bottom fin. I think I did this spin a little too far away, but it's okay. All right. So now I can add texture to my fin, but before I do that, I'm gonna let it, the glue dry. Now, for the background, there's just a bunch of green. Now I did wanna show you some other little tricks that you can do. When tearing paper, if you tear the paper real thin, like in a strip, it kind of curls on you. So if you're wanting to show some 3D, you can glue it up to about here and let the rest kind of hang off. And I can add some texture, but I'm gonna color the background first before I add texture because then it's harder to color. Um, I'm gonna take my greens. And I'm going to Got to add some color behind them, some seaweed. Is it a fish tank? kind of add some detail on that. You can add some blues. You can add some mix your blues and greens together if you want to. Add some yellows. Make sure you color the whole background. I'm not going to spend a whole much, a lot more time on that. I want to show you how to detail the fish. My white paper is still kind of wet, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the green. So with my yellow, I can add some details of his scales. It's kind of hard to see, but I can add my orange. Show where his body parts are gonna get his his gills and a little bit underneath here I don't have a white crayon on me if I had a white crown on me, I could add some more light color underneath where his, his um, for the reflection of how his scales are. I'm going to go ahead and do his eye. And I'm going to work on his fins now. This fin down here, a little bit of 
yellow in this bin too. And I'm going to take my gray and kind of add those details. Now I can just make sure to color my background. Don't forget to upload a picture of your artwork for me so you can get a grade. Okay. If you wanted to, you could draw your scales, these little C's. Make sure you're looking at a picture so you can look at the shapes that are made and created okay if you don't look at a picture you're not going to get details like this and you want to make sure that you can add some details okay so there's the fish that's not finished the background's not finished and here's the duck where the background is finished and the duck is colored and glued to all the pieces and you can see how i did multiple layers of feathers on the duck and i did a few layers of the fish all right, guys, enjoy. Have fun. If you need to take a break from it, you can do that.